how to take back your personal power. So maybe you've experienced some things happening in your life lately that has literally made you feel powerless. Maybe it's a divorce. Maybe it's moving. Maybe it's a loss of a job or a loved one or just you're, you're not feeling powerful. Well, I'm here to tell you that we all have power. We all are born with power. We were out of the womb. We are powerful beings. And as we grow up and experience life, sometimes the power gets hidden. Sometimes we can't find it anymore. Sometimes we don't believe we ha are powerful uh, based on some of the trauma uh, experiences that we've uh, had. But we do all have power. And today on this video, I am going to share with you some ways to regain your personal power. So as you see, you're here in my yoga studio today. And today our yoga session was about gaining your personal power. And it's true, power can come from physical work, but here's what I'm really talking about. Gaining your power starts with one thing. And I bet you can't guess what that one thing is. Well, I'm gonna tell you. The one thing that you need to start with to regain your personal power is being accountable and taking responsibility for your actions. What do I mean by that? Well, a lot of times when people have make choices and they have things happen because of those choices, they want to blame somebody else. It's easier that way. You can blame somebody else, point the finger at somebody else. Uh, that happens a lot of times. I've done it myself. Uh, we don't like to take a look at our own misgivings or our own choices, particularly if it ended up in a bad situation. So the first thing you need to do to take back your own power is to take responsibility for your own choices in your life. It wasn't the other person that made you choose to do what you did or choose to go down a certain path. The key is, is once you take responsibility, then you can take a look at how to manage it going forward. If you never take responsibility, you'll never change because you're always blaming it on the other person. Does that make sense? The second um, thing I have for you to take back your own personal power is start at the beginning. Start with the basics. Start with finding out who you really are. Start with just what do you want? What do you like? What do you need at this very moment? Staying present and saying, do I need to eat? Do I need more sleep? Do I need to change my diet? Do I need to stop drinking? Do I need to stop taking drugs? Do I need to, whatever, the, whatever it is, it's just starting at the basics, making sure you're you have a great morning routine. That is the foundation of your life. It's proof I am proving it. Uh, it is the foundation of my life, a morning routine, and we'll go over that in just a second. And making sure that you're nourishing your body with good, healthy foods. Now, you can still have fun eating good, healthy foods. <laughs> a lot of times people think, well, I'm, I want to eat good, so they think of lettuce and spinach and all that stuff. You, there's so many things that you can eat that are pleasurable, that are good for you. Herbs are great, so if you know nothing about herbs, um, I would suggest starting to learn uh, about herbs and how not only as a food, but also as a medicine, they can help you um, so that you can get back to your normal self and normal feeling, and that will also help you uh, with you getting your personal power back. Uh, we talked about morning routine. That is the ultimate. Thing. Just start at the basics. Get up at the same time every morning. Get up early. Practice some mindfulness. Um, if you don't know how to meditate, learn how to meditate. We can teach you here at Guild, uh, Guild um, Coaching. <laughs> I almost said Guild Yoga because we do have a yoga pro program as well that teaches you the same thing. It's called Guild Renewal Yoga. So uh, if you want more information, just contact us and uh, we can show you. We, People love it, it's great. But do something for yourself every single morning, being consistent, being uh, persistent, being dedicated, having patience, giving yourself love, giving yourself some grace. We all go through hard times. We all feel powerless uh, throughout our lives many on many occasions. 
But if you follow these simple rules, take responsibility, start back at the basics. What do you need right now? Do you need to drink some water? Do you need, you know, start back at the basics. You don't have to fix everything on the outside. Think about what you need. And then creating a great morning routine, we can also help you with that as well. I have created a wonderful morning routine for myself and uh, everybody's is different because we're all different people, but it should include, as I was saying, mindfulness, uh, yoga or meditation. We can teach you how to do that. It should include some physical exercise, making your body strong. Um, I do kettlebell, I do yoga. So those are some things that you can practice uh, or whatever you like, pick something that you like that you're gonna stay with. Um, and something, you don't have to spend hours and hours in the gym. It's just about moving your body. It's about getting to know your body. You know, our bodies, minds, and soul are all connected. That's what brings you back your, your personal power. It's all connected. And when you work on all of those, then you're gonna feel powerful. You're gonna feel like you can make good decisions. You're gonna start trusting yourself and trusting the choices that you make. And at, you know, this takes a little bit of time. It doesn't happen overnight. <laughs> so for those of you who are expecting a miracle, it doesn't work that way. It takes time, one step at a time. You learn these practices and you keep at it and you do it every day and one day you're going to wake up and you're going to feel powerful. You're going to feel strong. You're going to feel courageous. You're going to start making better decisions for yourself and for your family. You're going to start feeling like someone that you haven't seen in a while, your authentic self. <laughs> so follow, follow these tips. Um, I hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, I hope that you gain something from it. If you have friends or family members who uh, really need to hear this message, send this along and don't forget to hit the like button. And also you need to subscribe. We have so many great videos that we offer, some great information uh, and uh, you won't be um, disappointed at some at the, all the videos that we have uh, in Guild Coaching um, videos. So anyway, <laughs> Go out there, regain your personal power. The world needs you. They need to hear your voice. They need you in the world, shining your light, powerful as you are. So go out there, feel powerful, and follow the tips. I guarantee that you will be able to find your power that may have been hidden for a very long time. Have a fantastic day, everyone. Namaste.